Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the pink sauce lady has returned and is more insane than ever. Jumping on TikTok and going on a rampage about previous drama again. She's also now apparently released a novel titled Pink's Brain. And oh, how desperate we are to find out what's inside. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. I mean, who would have thought that the pink sauce lady would have brought a past drama for the fourth time? Oh, not again. Oz is getting old at this point. Yes, Jerry, I totally agree with you. Ladies and gentlemen, she seems to have an obsession with her past and her magic poo sauce, which can paranormally change its own colour. I mean, look at that. The difference in the pigmentation is quite magical. <laughs> but of course, it's come to no surprise that she's posted TikToks talking all this crap again. I mean, is she ever going to move on? You know, she's going to be sat in her rocking chair at 92 years old telling her grandkids about how she got shafted by Dave's Gourmet and how her pink sauce apparently failed. But as I mentioned, she's also released a novel which was titled Pink Sprain. It's more than just a colour. 100% agree with you there. It is more than just a colour. It's a living entity. Growing its own civilization of rot, might I say. That would, you know, probably one-shot anyone that was in a three-meter radius. Oh my, it's gone. There's nothing else in here. Like, it's it's gone. Oh my god. It's, I, I, mm -mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look, it's a new day, all right? I couldn't film the video last night. I was too tired. Now it's really early in the morning. I just got out of bed, so I apologize for... For this. But if you didn't see my last video, it was about the pink sauce lady quitting her adventures with the pink sauce. Yeah, that's right, you heard me correctly. She stopped advertising the pink sauce completely. And if you ask me, this was the biggest 180 I've ever seen. Instead of advertising her pink sauce and trying to build her brand back up, she decided to jump on TikTok and promote TikTok products. And essentially what it is, is that she'll go on the TikTok shop, find a product that people will be interested in, and then try to promote it through her TikTok. And when people buy it, she gets that commission money. But when you thought the pink sauce lady couldn't get any dumber, she forgot to link the product. Yeah, go and buy this really cute reindeer, guys, but I'm not going to leave the link in the description. You'll have to find that yourself. So all this hard work to never be paid from it. I mean, come on, that is the biggest 180 I've ever seen, yeah? That's like going from playing Cooking Mama for five years to going to play Elden Ring. So you can imagine my surprise when I came on TikTok, saw the pink sauce lady flapping her chops again. And if you haven't been keeping up with the pink sauce lady, it's a long, long story, okay? There's not even enough pages in the Bible to write up this story. She had a major come up a few years ago for eating some food with this really vibrant pink sauce and everybody loved it. It was extremely hyped. There you go, Raven. <laughs> And she kept pushing this pink sauce on TikTok and everybody really wanted this pink sauce, okay? Like, people wanted it as bad as they wanted it to breathe. <laughs> so what does she do? Well, she does what any idiot would do. She puts her pink sauce on sale, packs it up, and then ships it across the country with milk and eggs in it. Yeah, and it turned up at people's houses looking like something that you'd find in your grandmother's cupboard that she hasn't cleaned out in about 10 years. Just asbestos and fungi and just, it was just rotten. It, it was disgusting. <laughs> so you can imagine the massive failure here, yeah? Massive backlash. But people forgave her and she had another major breakthrough. Yeah, she teamed up with somebody known as Dave's Gourmet. But the climax of this situation, ladies and gentlemen, was it said pink sauce, but... Hang on a second, that, that's not pink, that's, that's poo colour. Mmm, yeah. Please get me my chicken leg. I really want some of that poo poo sauce. Right, and guys, I've got really strong opinions about this, so please don't cancel me for what I'm about to say, because I know it's serious, I know it's quite bad what I'm about to say, but just listen. And then people were complaining that the pink sauce was not pink sauce And that's when Chef P decided to come out and be like, Oh, Dave's gourmet. They shafted me. Oh, they've done, done, they've done me dirty, guys. She was saying things like, Oh, they didn't use the appropriate ingredients to make this pink sauce. Yeah, we're probably a reason why. Because it'd probably kill someone. I mean, look at all that sunflower oil she's putting in there. If you love that, then you must love cancer. And I have to say, right, she must have given the go-ahead on this. She, there's no way that Dave's gourmet just released this product and it not being pink and she didn't agree to it. And then she was claiming that apparently Dave's gourmet hasn't been pink paying her anything and that she's behind on her rent. Which is, you know, kind of ironic considering a couple of TikToks later, uh, she boasts about selling 200,000 f***ing bottles. Oh, I'm broke, guys. I start a GoFundMe. I don't have any money. I sell 200,000 bottles. <laughs> yeah, there's clearly some sort of mental common sense brain struggle going on here. And you know, all right, that's just scraping the surface. You know what I'm going to do for you guys? Right? You know what I'm going to do? Because you're special and I love you. I'm going to put a playlist link down below to all the pink sauce videos. You know, just in case you guys want to watch a couple of videos of mine while you're falling asleep, I hear that my accent is quite soothing to fall asleep to. But the Dave's Gourmet situation calmed down and this is when she decided to go off onto her own path. She 
reinvented the wheel, okay? She came out with a new sauce, all right? And this is just, this is just beyond me. This time, she took it upon herself to release a packeted pink sauce for 20 f***ing dollars. And you might be thinking then, oh, okay, that doesn't sound too bad at all. At least she avoids the whole mold process. Yeah, but here's the best bit, right? You, you, once you get this $20 packeted seasoning, you have to go to the store. And you have to spend even more money to make this pink sauce. You're looking at about 40 to 50 bucks just to make a pink sauce. I am never gonna financially recover from this. To be honest, you aren't completely convinced this food color in. Because she adds mayo, sweet chili, sour cream, and all kind of other shenanigans to it. And then she just adds her pink flavor in after. Which changes the color to pink, so... Is that food color in? Or am I just going, you know, completely see now? And that's what the finished product looks like, by the way. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Why is it so watery? It looks like this thing of nightmares. Yeah, I'd never dip my food in there and consume it. It actually might probably just most likely melt my stomach lining. And her next best trick was going out into public and forcing people to try her sauce. She went to some sort of fun fair where she roamed around looking for her first victim and then, well, she found it. So first question, do it taste like ranch? It don't, right? <laughs> oh yeah, looks like she's enjoying it. Good luck with the uh, the major diarrhea later. And then of course she came across her two other test subjects and forced them to try her pink sauce, and that went as well as a stomach also would go. Do it. Do it taste like ranch? No. I don't know what it tastes like. It got its own flavor for real. Yeah, that was. That was a very confident, yeah, it has its own unique flavor. And that's when, ladies and gentlemen, we reached the checkpoint. The TikToks that followed this severely got worse and worse and more insane. For example, one of the TikToks where she was making her pink sauce, um, it almost looked like she was working in a meth lab. Oh, well, you know, I didn't realize they started up Breaking Bad again. You know when somebody starts a project, doesn't turn out too well, so they jump onto a new project, and that's kind of half finished, and then they jump onto another one? Well, this is what's happening here. I guess she's gonna try and make every color from the rainbow. Just stick to the pink sauce. It was good enough by itself. Why are you delving into blue, green, and yellow? Like, I just refuse to dip my breaded chicken bites into Shrek's discharge. Comment down below, ladies and gentlemen, and let me know, because it really makes me sad when you don't want to have a conversation with me in the comment section. But would you buy any of these sauces? Like, genuinely like would you like would you actually like really sit down at a family dinner and whip out your fucking green sauce <laughs> I don't think so I, I certainly wouldn't and then there's just this TikTok, which I'm not even sure what this is I mean dancing with a Bowser mask and a nerf gun while holding a glass of your pink salt I mean what the fuck is that and then ladies and gentlemen the real insanity became evident when she was in the shower with a soggy sandwich <laughs> I mean, that just radiates mental stability, doesn't it? I mean, this is clearly a woman, ladies and gentlemen, that has her act together. <laughs> Sitting in the shower with a soggy sandwich, holding a dog's chew toy and singing. And what was that creepy ass look she gave us at the end? I mean, just from that one look alone, I feel like a threat has been made against my life. Like she wants to marinate me in her pink sauce and then eat me. And you know, obviously you all are aware that she has jumped on TikTok once again, talking some crap and released her own book, which we are going to be taking a look at. But firstly, take a look at this recent TikTok she posted where she seemed to be consuming a whole ass sheep leg. <laughs> Mmm, yeah, that looks so appetizing. Why is it so watery? Why does it look like that? And why are you here on TikTok consuming half a sheep? Why is each bottle a different color? Oh, it's good to see ladies and gentlemen that I'm not the only person who noticed this. It tastes like medicine. When I read that comment, the only thing I could think of is that disgusting yellow medicine we used to get when we were children, you remember? Although I actually kind of liked that, to be fair. It was so nice though, I mean, I loved it, let's be honest. Did you guys like the taste of that? If you remember it, comment down below. And speaking of the sauce being a different color, she can't argue by saying, oh, Dave's gourmet messed up the colors. No, 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 no. This is her pink sauce that she made. And a couple of TikToks ago, this is the pink sauce she also made. Why the f*** are they different colors? You wouldn't buy a bottle of ketchup that is red and then on the off chance, it might just be orange. No, it's always red. 
because that's what a proper brand would do. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, she's actually responding to some of the haters on TikTok by directly tagging them and talking to them and telling them how stupid they are. We're going to look at that and then we're going to take a look at her book and then, of course, save the best to last, her ranting about Dave's Gourmet once again, which, by the way, is over with. Like, Dave's Gourmet has just not said anything since then. She's still going on about it. But firstly, I do want to say, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe to the channel. We're currently on 108k and we're trying to get to 120k by the end of September. We can 100% do it if we all band together, baby. So hit the sub button, turn on bell notifications, leave a like on the video, comment down below. Let's get involved. Do you realize you on my page talking about some inaccurate information from two years ago? Listen, at this point, I could literally give a flying quack. Oh, yeah, yeah, Pink Sauce Lady. It really looks like you don't care. The quote-unquote hater was only asking a question. And that question was, does this sauce have botulism toxin as well? So it just seems like a question to me. And you got really angry. Once again, you really don't care, do you? You could continue to spam my page. Guess what? I'm still gonna post another video. I don't care if it gets 10 views, 20 views, 30 views, 100 million views. Guess what? I'm still gonna post. I'm still gonna believe in my, my product. Oh, just a slight little dose of hesitation there. <laughs> she hasn't hesitated once in this TikTok, but the moment she was saying that she believes in her product, little stutter happened. Come on, guys, you can leave me alone. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I, b I, b b I believe in my product. Yeah, okay, yeah, of course you do. <laughs> okay, so if my content is not for you, you are free to hit the unfollow. You are free to hit the block button. No one is holding you hostage here. But what I am saying is y'all will not continue to bully me about this because I don't care. I don't care. And also, you saying that you don't care several times, I don't think that quite had the effect you were hoping for. By saying it too many times, it makes it extremely obvious that you clearly do care. If you didn't care, you wouldn't respond. It's that simple. If you didn't care, you wouldn't say anything. Do you think I respond to my hate comments? No, I don't care. I don't care, guys. I don't care about my hate comments. I don't care about them, okay? They don't upset me. I don't care. They don't bother me. I don't care about them. Do you think now that I actually do care? Because I know I said it so many times, you, you see? And once again, just to reiterate that she genuinely doesn't care, she followed up with a six minute video. Because you know, TikTok being known for the app that posts short videos, you posting a six minute video would make it blatantly obvious that you clearly care. So stop running with this narrative that you don't care because you clearly do, all right? And that six minute TikTok is something we are gonna take a look at. But firstly, let's take a look at her book. Because it's gotta be quality, right? I mean, everything Chef P releases is always quality. Right? Oh my god, what is that? Out of all the images you took, you, you, you chose this one to be the cover. This is enough to scare anybody away from buying it. I'm not sure uh, I ever want to look at that book ever again. Let me just click off it. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> my name is giving off carnival vibes. Jerry, protect me. Come on, if she's gonna eat anybody, she's gonna eat you first. So here we go, check out my new book, Pink's Brain. It's more than just color. 888. Most people would see that, they'd probably be confused, but I totally understand what's going on here. There's a bit of numerology going on, because eight is the number of money. So that's clear what's happening here. She's trying to use numerology to get her book to sell. I mean, if a product is shit, it's just not gonna sell. I mean, eight can't save you, unfortunately. <laughs> numerology can only be so powerful. You need something good to back it up with. The number eight can't help you. I did a thing. I wrote this book to help people all around the world that suffer with anxiety and or depression. Because a few years ago, I didn't have a resource to go directly to where I could relate. I wrote this book to share my journey with readers all around the world. When I first began suffering with anxiety and depression, I felt like I was the only one experiencing what I was going through, but after doing the proper research and getting professional help, I was able to pull myself out of the dark abyss. I created my own ritual to balance nutrition in my body and to get myself thinking right. I grew a relationship with dragon fruit. You grew a relationship with fruit? Okay. And it helped me tremendously in this journey. In this book, you will learn a little bit about me and also my battle with mental health and how I have learned to overcome anxiety and depression. I mean, yeah, she literally says in the in the text here as well, I didn't have a resource to go to directly where I could relate. Yeah, I'm sure everybody can relate to having a relationship with a piece of fruit. Like, in what sense do you think people are going to read this and think, oh, yeah, I can relate to that, you know? If I do plan to off myself, I'll remember what Chef P said. I just need to create a, an intimate relationship with a bit of food. Well, that'll save me. Yeah. <laughs> this book is dedicated to my children, letting them know that they can do anything they put their minds to. My young kings. It's power in the tongue. Love, mommy. Ooh, okay, mommy. Bit of a sexual tension going on here, ladies and gentlemen. 
But you know what, all jokes aside, I respect it. I do respect it, okay? You want to release a book to try and help people. Why would I bash that? I'd be an absolute terrible human to bash something like that. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, the book is shit. Don't buy it. She's trying to help people. Fuck you. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I mean, if, if, if you want to buy it, mm, I'm not going to tell you to buy it, actually. I was going to say, if you want to buy it, go ahead. But I'm not going to do some sort of, like, you know, shout out to you. <laughs> you know, that's not what this video is about. <laughs> but then just following her TikTok, promoting her book, she released a TikTok about grounding thoughts, which I have to say, grounding is pretty amazing, by the way. If you take your shoes off and you're barefoot and you stand next to a tree or stand on some grass, it really does give you some of that mental clarity you've been looking for. She's talking while she's doing it and she posted a TikTok about it, so... Let's have a look what she has to say. I should have stayed true to myself, but those are lessons that I learned. Okay, first things first though, she sounds like Rick from The Walking Dead. I mean, those are lessons that I learned, Carl. As an individual, but I gotta keep moving forward. And so if you got a vision or an idea or something that you wanna create, something that you wanna do to change the world, and you in a world of confusion, don't give up. That's just the enemy trying to deter you, trying to deter you from your vision. I actually agree with a lot of the stuff she's saying, but the bit that I'm very confused about is when she talks about to keep moving forward. But I gotta keep moving forward. It doesn't seem like you are moving forward, Chef P. It seems like you're stuck in the past. Because for so long now, you talk about Dave's Gourmet, then you leave like a six month period where you don't mention anything, and then you just bring it back up again. It's almost like you're trying to create a controversial moment for yourself, so then you'll gain attention again, which isn't a good way to go about it. You know, bad clout does not equals good clout. I know that's a thing but it's not real. Like, if you were truly moving on, you'd rebrand your pink sauce, you'd constantly promote it, try to genuinely try to build it up as a large company, but you're not doing that. You're just posting TikToks about products from the TikTok shop. How is that exactly helping your business in any way? Child, why did I mess around and got me one of these TikTok shop body suits? Oh, you know what, dude? I just seen the pink sauce lady talk about this pink body suit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy you a pink sauce because she's convinced me. I know that I was born to defy the odds and create new standards. The pink sauce will soon be a globally distributed product. I don't know how it's gonna happen. The pink sauce will be a globally dis distributed product. And although I may face these challenges and these storms right now, I have a plan for the long run. Shoot, I got a plan for a long time. I don't know how it's gonna happen. Oh, she's got a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Says the woman roaming round in her back garden with no shoes on. I mean, does that look like somebody who has this, like, notorious plan? If you had a notorious plan, you wouldn't be making these TikToks. You'd be getting to work. And she also spoke about the pink sauce being a global distribution. Mm, not looking like that, it won't be. That's some goddamn toilet water right there. It genuinely looks like somebody vomited after consuming some pink ice cream. Does that genuinely look like something you'd want to dip your food in? Like, at least the first pink sauce was actually looking pretty good. It's just a shame that you were shipping it across the country with milk and eggs in it during one of the hottest times of the year. But, you know, on the other hand, the original pink sauce, I would have maybe delved into it a little bit. You know, maybe give it a little try. But this one, <laughs> no f***ing way. <laughs> so, cheers, ladies and gentlemen, to failure. But just stop talking about all this drama, pink sauce lady. Put the fries in the bag. I don't even know what that means. Can someone tell me what that means? I see it in the comment section all the time. Put the fries in the bag. What does that mean? It's like some sort of meme for the fries in the bag. I feel kind of cool saying it though. <laughs> and now is the time we've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. The pink sauce lady ranting about Dave's gourmet. At least that's what I assume. I mean, the, the description is I'm just saying. Usually you'd say that about like a sentence, you know? I love big bums. I'm just saying. You wouldn't say that for a six minute and 35 second conversation. To all of y'all that be saying, oh, just give up. Throw it out. Biggest flop ever. Put the fries in a bag. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, there's the put the fries in the bag again. What the hell does that mean? Just put the fries in the bag, bro. Yeah, you don't sound as cool as when I say it. Just, just wanna, just saying. All of this stuff to try to discourage me from going forward to my dreams, baby. Do you realize that I have a competitor that's a billion dollar go global company that's been established for decades and decades or maybe even a hundred years? Do you understand that? Do you understand that I am the only person that can bring the real 
pink sauce, how it's supposed to be bright and beautiful and colored to fruition. Uh, I'm not sure that's a true statement. I mean, again, just looking at that sauce from earlier, it doesn't seem like you are the only person who can bring it into fruition. In fact, you seem like the person that cannot do it. You are the person that can't. <laughs> Clearly, it's not working. Oh god, the camera died. Pink sauce lady is spiritually attacking me. And then she goes on to mention about this global competitor, this multi-billion dollar industry that has apparently uh, nicked her pink sauce idea. Now, I'm assuming when she says this, ladies and gentlemen, she's talking about Heinz. Because they've released, like, this Barbie pink sauce, which is supposed to be barbecue flavor. Again, I wouldn't buy that because that doesn't look very appetizing. I mean, barbecue sauce that is pink? Since when? But here's the difference between the pink sauce lady and Heinz. Heinz did it correctly. They made it possible for you to consume it without dying. You? Well, you just tried to infect everybody with cancer. The real pink sauce, how it's supposed to be, bright and beautiful and colored to fruition, because God gave me this vision. The billion dollar global company fell without me. It wasn't pink. It was like, uh, not pink. It was coral. The company tried to forsake me and do things behind my back. Okay, wait, hang on. Is she talking about her past pink sauce, which wasn't pink, or is she talking about the competitor sauce? If she's talking about her own pink sauce that she made with Dave's Gourmet, you must have okayed that. There's no way they would have released it without you. And if you're talking about the competitor's sauce not being pink, well, neither was yours. Yours was poo color. <laughs> so I wonder, ladies and gentlemen, where she's getting this legendary IQ from? I mean, it's beyond me. The company tried to forsake me and do things behind my back. The deal went horrible. The pink sauce is not even in Walmart anymore. Was I contacted about it? Was I notified about it? No. All they did was send me emails each week every to see how they could scheme me and I ignored them. You ignored the company that was meant to be your partner. Go back in those emails, have a little scroll through. Perhaps you might see an email about them talking about the color of the sauce. You know, asking for confirmation perhaps. Maybe they released it and it being some sort of orange color because you didn't respond to them. Do you ever think about that? You talking about how they tried to scheme you, you might not have realized that you probably missed a couple of important emails there. Not going to lie. Realize that I am very comfortable in the decisions that I will be making going forward. And every great person have to go through a storm. Like these trials and these tribulations that I've been facing. Like, listen, the pink sauce ain't made one sale this month. Not one single sale. But guess what? I still post my product. I still post and do what I have to do because I believe in my my vision. I believe in my brand. And most importantly, when the world gets to experience it, when I have that conversation with the person who could get me to where I need to be, when I meet that investor. Right. See, this is why I'm getting confused by this whole situation, because now she's talking about a handout. You know, meeting the right person to get to where she wants to be. You literally made yourself famous. You did that all by yourself. You blew up the pink sauce all by yourself. You didn't have a handout back then. You didn't need anybody. You just made a mistake by shipping it across the country with bad ingredients in it. But now you expect a handout, right? You expect somebody to just pick you up and just put you straight up there. You know, overnight success doesn't exist. She, she acts like as if she can't succeed without help from somebody. And that's just not true. She's just trying to mask the fact that she can't succeed, that it's not working. She hasn't had a sale this month. And she probably only had one sale last month, and that was August the Duck. <laughs> and she also talks about it as well as if the only reason it hasn't succeeded yet is because she hasn't had help from somebody. The reason it hasn't succeeded is because it's shit. Okay? Who's calling me now? Jojo Siwa. Literally as well. Not even kidding. Opportunity, listen, it only takes one day for your entire life to change. Taken through the journey of being myself, who I really am, making the, the decisions that I need to make as an entrepreneur, making the decisions that I need to make as a creator. And before I can say that my view was blurry, my vision wasn't as clear. Confusion was so near me, and now I'm just moving forward to greater things. Oh, that's funny that you say that, that you're moving on to bigger and better things, because I swear you said that a year ago. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't seem like she is moving on. She seems to be stuck in the same cycle, <laughs> which is 
it's just not it's just not ideal is it like if you're trying to move on just move on already she acts like somebody who can't get over her ex or something you know what i mean the cycle is this start off talking about the pink sauce and how great it is it doesn't work zero views move on to mentioning dave's gourmet to try and start up some controversy talk about how you're moving on and how the pink sauce is going to be brilliant once again then move back to talking about the pink sauce, hoping that the controversy from this will carry over. Maybe for a little bit, but not for long. It slowly dies out once again. And then... <laughs> Talk about Dave's gourmet again. <laughs> Yay, got 100k views again. I do believe that the pink sauce will be globally distributed around the world. I do believe that people in the world will be able to taste my amazing and invention i truly truly believe because the pink sauce was created for way more than just your taste buds even though it tastes absolutely amazing and the color is beautiful and there are so many things that you can do with it now this is just false advertising there's so many things you can do for the pink sauce it's not just made for your taste buds so what, what else can you do with it other than consume it can you use it as oil to fill up your car as fuel can it be used as fuel? Can you use it as lube, perhaps? Like a water-based lube? Well, actually, yeah, I mean... <laughs> that you probably could use it for. It's not made for anything else other than consuming. Like, you, apparently you can f***ing drink it. Which I, I... It's probably not healthy to do that, but... Stop trying to oversell the pink sauce. You can only use it as a sauce. That's why it's called pink sauce. How stupid do you think we are? She talks about, like, the pink sauce as if it's, like, the holy grail or something. It's just a sauce, okay? Under my post where I was like, I don't give a crap or whatever. I don't give a monkey tushy and all of that, right? Like, oh, isn't it too late for you to say like you don't care? It's never too late for you to say you don't care. No, because at when before I could say I care, like I was taunted. I was going through so much that I didn't share with the world that I didn't say. And so now I can say... <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about their opinion. And uh, you, you're not taunted now? Are you sure? Because to me, it seems like you're taunted. I'm not to take away from her struggles in any way, but we've all been through things. Just like you have. Let, yeah, you. I'm talking to you. You've been through some horrible stuff as well, haven't you? Don't worry. Daddy Curtis is you. <laughs> oh, God. I just cringed. I know I wasn't saying that joke off my own back, okay? I was making fun of the whole mommy thing earlier, okay? <laughs> Just in case you thought that I actually was saying it to you, I'm not. Don't make it weird. They could tell me to put the fries in a bag a million times. Thank you for helping me manifest because I want like five different restaurants, okay? And we will be serving fries nine times out of ten in like three of the establishments. So I really, really thank you for bringing that into fruition for me for the things to work out. Not just that, but she's talking about manifesting. Just letting you know, okay? Just by you talking about all the bad stuff that's happened to you, you are manifesting more bad things. Okay, so I don't really understand what your thought process is in this situation. If I sat here and spoke about how bad things have gone for me, I'm going to get even more worse things happen to me. So what kind of manifestation are you talking about exactly? This is the first time you've mentioned your five restaurants. If you wanted to manifest that, you'd mention it a whole lot more. But you're not. You're talking about past drama and bringing it into the present. You know what that means, don't you? It's gonna happen to you again, you're gonna keep failing because you're manifesting failure. Isn't that fucking obvious? <laughs> That's how I feel watching this. I feel like I'm going insane. A long story short, baby, believe in yourself, okay? I am a creator. I defy the odds. I set new standards. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And baby, the pink sauce will be globally distributed all around the globe, all around the world. I have people writing me all the time. And I just look and I'm patiently waiting. You know what? If the pink sauce does become a global brand, I'll strip off bollock naked and run around my neighborhood. Because if you ask me my genuine opinion, I do have an inkling that 
it could possibly revive itself and it could be a very successful product but she's gonna really have to do some rebranding and this whole character thing that she's going on right now you know talking about all this drama and stuff and bringing up like the reasons she's failed just ain't a good luck to be honest and again i'm not gonna keep saying this but she's always talking about moving forward she just said it again but it just doesn't seem that way it doesn't seem like you are moving forward you've released a packeted seasoning that you have to go to the store to buy extra ingredients for just to make the pink sauce which let's be honest nobody wants to fucking do that so the packeted seasoning alone ain't gonna be the new thing that sells it just ain't gonna be it unfortunately it's just it's too much effort and after seeing august the duck try it i'm surprised he's still uploading i actually thought he was dead for a second but i want to know ladies and gentlemen i want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you think is going to happen with the pink sauce do you think it's going to succeed do you think it's going to prevail and become this huge global brand genuinely let me know because i'm very interested to find out with that said ladies and gentlemen comment down below check out my other videos i'm sure you'll enjoy these ones this was a bit more of a conversational serious video the other ones are a little bit more unhinged <laughs> so go and check them out